Hello, hello, hello everyone, NecroVMX here, and welcome back with more Sanctus Mortem, and uh, we're continuing our talk with Hector, Xanth, and Selena, the original party of the game. And I know I read this last line in the last video, but I'll read it again. Reforge the future for everyone, Kale. Don't let what happened to our universe happen to this one. I'll protect my universe no matter what. Thank you. If he does become the female persona, remind her of who she is to you. Don't let go of that. Make her remember if she starts to forget. I will. Let's go. It's been an honor, my friends. The honor was ours, Hector. I love you both so very much. I feel the same, Selena. Same for me as well. See you both in the next life. This is the Security Force Alpha. You traitors have one minute to walk out of the defense station with your hands up. For the last time, my dearest friends, let us fight alongside one another. I think I have one more battle left in me, Captain. Let's show them what it means to take on the crew of the robe. Come on, you bastards. So if you're wondering why they didn't also leave, it's they're trying to buy the other characters, you know, uh... Zali and Kel some time. Um, we'll make a good show of it. Oh, damn, Hector. Oh, holy shit, Zanth. Wow. Uh, it's a series of battles. Um, you're, I'm trying to explain it. Like, you're not really supposed to win in the traditional sense, but... Uh, I'll explain it better by showing you. They have all their stats and everything from uh, from the beginning. Well, from the last time we controlled each of these guys. We've got to hold out. Second battle. Love the song that plays during this. Ah, uh, they have a mad on for Selena. Damn, Xanth. Damn. I'm not even sure if any of them have healing scions now. It, it kind of doesn't matter. We'll see if we can give her a little boost here, though, just so she lasts through these battles, but... Story-wise, these guys are... They're going down. I'm going to be honest with you. For Zarabeth, Marek, and everyone who did not make it, this fight is for you. Alright, six of them now. Oh, you missed. This is actually working out really well. They're all kind of beat up at this point. I mean, like I said, I can heal them, but it's kind of pointless. Okay. 
Just a little longer. <coughs> Just a little longer. I believe this is the last one, so... Ah, leave Xanth alone. Ah, I was hoping to actually end this one quickly. Ah, there goes Xanth. There goes Selena. It plays out the same even if you win. Thank you for <coughs> my life. It plays out exactly the same if you win. But they die shortly after. The security forces must be trying to enter the defense station. Hopefully the generals can hold out long enough for us to escape. Oh, those beats right after all that emotion. Let's fucking kill some enemies. Ah, the Silar. Eat my Generation Blade Mark II, you big bitch. Silar mm -mm 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 -mm. Pelt, alright. These are scums. Hmm. All right, uh, these guys have really high defense. Um, I think pretty much any spell. I believe they're. I believe they're a little more weak to ice. Yeah, look at the damage on Fajara. Scum mucus. Kale's reached level nine. Zali has reached level nine. Let me go ahead and I'm gonna change your scion. I'm not happy with that. Um, That elements one anymore. Uh, oh, okay. I'll give you soul one for now. I'll probably wind up giving that to um, Shy at some point, but for now I'll have you use it. All right, so we have a junker. Bitched. Victory is mine! You big hoe, and I get a drunk joint. Alright, delts. Uh, um, these guys don't have a whole lot of health. They can hit you pretty hard, but they don't have a lot of health, as you see. I mean, Zalia just kicked the shit out of one without even any problem. Alright, we've got some de delth wings. Dill. Harvesters. Uh, yeah, let me go a little ham on these guys. Right. Four of them is a bit much. Oh, I got some Harvester Silk. Alright, Scum? Yeah, that's what I figured. Oh, she has, yes, because it's soul, she has celestial and death void. Death void's a little stronger, I'll choose that. There we go. Kale needs to regenerate his hit points, uh, his psionic points, rather. Alright, right, Silar. It's a good opportunity since these guys don't do a lot of damage. Have both of you guys regenerate. Is Curion, you though. Does she really only have restored one? Or, oh, you know what? I think I the better one was on. Um, was on Shy. It's okay, this is not very hard of a dungeon. There's some good items in here, too, from what I remember. Victory is mine, you big bitch. And I got a Scylla Pelt. Alright, a Scylla and a Harvester. Nice. Mm 
More deaths. Yeah, these guys you want physical attacks on them. Another Scylla. Junker would be a good opportunity to regenerate health and SP as well. It can't actually do much to me. button. That was dopey. It's a dopey, not dopey dog. Hey, Gibbs. How you doing, buddy? Alright. Another harvester. Harvester of sorrow. Victory is mine, you big bitch. Hm. Alright, more dills. So there's one that didn't attack yet. Get that one. These guys are quick, so there's no way I was going to overtake them on the CTV there. It's an item down here, that's why I'm going down here. Okay, we got more delves. Be shot. Another song is by John Zorn. Uh, yeah, we need to heal. Oh! <laughs> my hand's off the controller. <laughs> I was scratching my chin chin chin. Sorry, it came out alright. You yeah, notice I never buy uh, fucking items. Uh, rely on this kind of shit. Alright, another junker. You can attack, but Zalia needs SP back. Victory is mine, you big bitch. Alright, another Corinth Sphere. The Sphere of Fear. Giant hurt ball. Good night. Alright, a Scylla and a Harvester. It's a shame Kale doesn't have a whole lot of uh, SP, but it's working out fine. We're doing okay. 
I saw you go up there, Mr. Harvester. That does take a lot of uh, magic, but boy is it powerful. I could probably kill them with Celestial too, and I don't think you guys have even seen that spell. Definitely gotta go up this way first, there's another item up there. Alright, we get the Scum of the Universe. Alright, definitely need more SP. Got that Scum Mucus, though. No. Right, restore 2, good, 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 alright. Get that to her, so she'll have Curate. Curate's really good. See? Told you. Get that. All right, another Silar. Okay, now we head down this way. It's another scum, scum of the universe. Sleep time. Oh, okay, yeah, Zalia and Kale both hit. I hit the thing too fast, but they both hit level 10. And there's a save point right there. Oh, that missed though. One of the very rare super hidden items is right here. Defender 1. Um, that is a, um, I'll show you, it is a support scion. What it does is it gives you shield and fortify, um, which are pretty good. I'm not going to worry about them right now. Here we go. Boss battle, the Suriv. Alright, this thing changes weaknesses as you fight it. Um, as you can see right now, it doesn't take a lot of damage from physical attacks, so we'll use Scions. Death Void's almost always going to do a lot of damage, though. Look at that. Okay, now he's in his second form. Ugh. Oh, he's blinded. You see, he takes a lot of damage from physical attacks. That is when Kale can actually hit him. That was blinded and poisoned now. That's just fantastic. Come on, hit him. Oh, he's not taking a lot of damage from Kale's weapon, just from Zalia's. Okay. Alright, last form. Only physical attacks will work well. Although Dark Void will probably, or Death Void rather, will probably still work pretty well. I'll give it a shot. It's got to be more than what he's doing, but as you see now, his weapon's doing more than hers. So basically, it's scions, and then guns, and then swords is the way the weakness goes. Oh, wait, no. Swords, rather. I'm going to have her use Curate here, and oh god, she doesn't have the hit points for it. Alright, regenerate. Hopefully we can survive. Oh, that's terrible. 
Alright, he's down. That sucks. Um, let me use Curate here. I'll just pop a Neurostimulant on him. That poison really messed me up. Oh, he almost caught up there. I have three Neurostimulants. It's not a lot, but I have them. Alright, he's done. Victory is mine! Yo. Alright, so we got the Sur of Tentacle and an Elements 2, which would give you Frajara, uh, Thuniri, and um, Ignisite at the same time. The Sur of Tentacle. I almost called it a testicle. The Sur of Tentacle is just for selling. What the hell was that thing? I do not know, but it must have been living down here for a long time. Let's get out of here. Well, first, let's do this. Actually, first, I'm going to give you elements, too. Because I want Shy to have the other one. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. How do we get to the border without our vords? Let us head for Niso. It is not far from here. We can rent a couple of motorbikes and head for the border. You're wondering if, after seeing to the Aurora, we ought to infiltrate their base and prevent the Ossidians' launch, are you not? You're right as usual, Zalia. What if, by preventing that launch, we consign in a universe we know nothing about to an everlasting death? You heard what Hector and the others said. If we allow for this god's covenant to occur, and I become the Omega Seraph, I might be able to save both universes. Yet that means allowing the Ossidians' launch. I have been thinking about that. There may be a way for us to save both universes without the certain destruction of our world that would follow, with the Ascidian under the enemy's control. How do we accomplish that? We forcibly bring Ascidian under our control before it launches. We will need Shy if we want to have a better chance of success. You realize that we'll have to battle troops directly under the command of Conan and Lord Nile, maybe even have to face them ourselves. It is a hefty risk, but our choices are limited. If we can succeed and gain control of the ship, we can use it to travel to the other universe. And then what? How do we save a dead universe? I do not have the slightest idea. Good to know I'm not the only one. Let's head for Nisa, my Kale. Hopefully Shai can work out a ceasefire between Thane and Velsika by informing them this war is merely a diversion by our true enemy. Just hang tight, Shai. We'll be there soon. I guess. I just saved it, but alright. Okay, so now we're moving on over to what Shai's up to. Bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Captain, we're approaching the border pass. Come to a, come to a full stop about a hundred hit. Ah, it's away from the border pass. I need to see what we may be up against if things go south. Aye, Captain. Enjoy. Alana. What are you doing up here? Taya, I thought you were watching her. Alana has something important she wants to ask you, Captain. I really don't have time for this. We're about to head into the front lines. Hear her out, Captain, please. What can I do for you, Alana? Uncle Chai, I can pilot Mama's Ford. Are you daft, child? You cannot be serious. Mama and me, only ones can pilot Era. Mama not here. You need help. Your mother would murder me if I let you do this, girl. I admit to having another operational board would help, but you can't ask me to put your life in danger. Life in danger anyway. Must stop war. I can help. Please, Uncle Shy. Ugh, oh, alright. You have to follow every order I give you. If I say for you to retreat, you damn well better get out of there. I hope you realize that on me, mine. Mama and Daddy Kale, be proud of me. Oh, they'll be proud of me if you don't, sure. Go into the board bay and get ready for a fight, missy. Thank you, Uncle Shy. Tell you, take Alana back to the board bay and get Era prepped. I'll be joining you shortly. Thank you, Captain. And T's like, are you out of your damn mind? <laughs> no, but it was she's the one that brought the kid there. That'd be the bravest little girl I've ever seen. I wonder if anything happened to her, Zalia. I promised that with my life. All right. It's rock and or roll. Come frequency check. Era, do you read me? Era here, ready for departure. 
Stay close to me at all times, Alana. Understood. Dodd, keep the ship away from the fighting for the time being. We're launching now to see what's out there. After we do a bit of recon, we're going to circle around and see if we can fight our way in as a wedge between both lines. With any luck, we'll get, bu we'll get both Thane and Velsika's attention. Aye, Captain. Good luck to you and Miss Alana. We're going... We've... We're go for initiating start startup sequence. Why can't I talk? Wow. Startup sequence now. All systems check out. How's it going back there, Era? Systems are go, Negan. Ready to end war. Let's hope we can do this. Just that. Launching now. There we go. The front lines are right ahead. Are we ready? No, let's check our armaments first. All right, especially since I got Negan, the Negan 1700, and the Gaian Storm, and a Repair 5. Unfortunately, uh, it's not repaired from last time, so that kind of sucks. Neither of them are repaired. I can handle that. An objective is to take... I think you get repaired before the battle, actually. An objective is to take down both the Thane and Vlasikan lead ships. If we can do that, we might force a ceasefire long enough for us to let both sides know the truth. Ready. It's time to be scared, Alana. Or it's okay to be scared, Alana. Are you scared? Every time I go into battle, ever since I was your age, I just put that fear aside is all. You can do it too. You, my age, when battle? Yeah, I was. Now, nah, if when you get too scared, you head turn around and you go back to the ship, you hear? Not scared anymore. Not a girl. Stay close. Oh boy, let's rock and or roll, baby. Let's rock. For the following area, Shy will receive the experience points noted at the end of each battle. Which is important. That was actually my idea. Because otherwise, Shy gets kind of hopelessly behind the other two. And never really catches up. So we changed it. Throwing away their lives for nothing. Are you okay, Uncle Shy? Don't you worry about me. Uh, don't you worry none about me. Stick close. You're going to head down there. Velsika side first. Take on Velsika first. Why? They fight for freedom. Thane manipulated. You're a right clever girl, Alana. Troops fighting for freedom are less likely to stop fighting than soldiers fighting due to being manipulated. Negan, come in. This is the Aurora. This is Negan. Go ahead. We just received a secured message sent from the Thane capital. It specifies a warning about new ships being deployed to the front line and that Kale and Zali are escaping from Thane now. We're looking at some of those new ships now. We're too far into it now to go back. We're going to have to push forward. Hopefully Kale and Zali will make it back soon. Understood. Aurora out. Here we go. So you don't actually control this part. It's just a series of battles. So here we got two Marauder type Vords. Yeah, you do get repaired. Okay, cool. Uh, let me just try it with the regular guns since they are upgraded. Did I upgrade the regular guns? Oh shit, I'm not sure. I think I did for Era, but I'm not sure about Negan. Well, you get another chance, I think, to look at the equipment after um, after the Velsican side. That's one down. I don't think I need Guy and Storm. Probably should have done it at the beginning of the battle, to be honest, if anything. Ah, it's taken care of. Alright, here we have a Vilsika attacker. This is such a cool attack. You gotta admit, it's fucking cool. No. It does a lot of damage, too. Alright, now we have some troopers. Some Vilsican troopers. These guys... No big deal. They can't really do appreciable damage to the Vords, and you can easily take them out with regular attacks.
Real easy shit. No problem, man. Victory is mine. Alright, here's a Vilsika Cruiser. Seek a destroyer. Just gonna cut loose on this one too, no big deal. NBD. As you can see with the upgrades that we got from the auction, as well as the Vord Shop and Thane, this isn't that much of a problem. the Velsika warship. Ah, nice miss there. After the Velsika side is when we'll end this video. Dual missile, okay. Oh, as you can see by the way, the you saw how it just lost like 400 hit points? That's due to putting sap on it from um, Guy and Storm. And as you can notice, the uh, the Ares attack will lower their their damage output, so. And he's down to sap, nice. Oh, I think I have to actually select something, <laughs> even though I've already won, just to get out of that screen. About halfway through this, just got to deal with Thane's forces now. Alright, I'm going to stop right here. I'll see you guys real soon with more Sanctus Mortem.